In part one and two, I showed you what to look for in temperament and health when picking out your first horse. Now you need to find out how the horse is going to ride. This is a very important step because you want to have your ride time um, be fun and relaxing. You don't want to have a, a nerve-wracking experience every time you go out, not knowing what to expect from your horse. So what you want to do is have the owner of the horse saddle the horse up for you. Um, you want to watch everything he does. You want to watch him put on the, the saddle pad. You want to see him put on the, the uh, saddle. And you want to see him cinch the saddle. You also want to see him put the, the bit in the horse's mouth. Um, you you, you want to have him do everything in front of you. Uh, if, he, if the owner goes into the barn and uh, does stuff behind your back, you don't know what's going on. Um, there's a technique they use called twitching. And if they do that, uh, it helps to relax the horse. And, and you don't want to get home and have a horse that has to be twitched every time you want to put a saddle on so it doesn't freak out when it gets cinched up. So um, you just want to keep your eye on everything that they're doing. And if you see them pinching their lip, you know they're twitch twitching the horse. So you want to uh, be aware of that little technique that, that they'll try to use sometimes. And you see she's very relaxed, her head's down. She's not stressed out about it. She is still alert, so you know, um, again, you want to make sure they're, they're not drugged up for any of this. You see her licking? That's a sign of being relaxed right there. You're going to ride the horse after you watch them ride. Get in a small space, like a, a small round, round pin, um, to be on the safe side in the beginning. But if they have an area where you can ride, like on some trails, um, that's a pretty good thing to do if, if they'll go out riding with you, if they have any other horses, you know, more than the one horse that they're selling at that point. Um, if they can take you out on some trail rides, that would really be good. Um, so you get a more of an idea how the horse acts, even if you walk along the side of the road. You don't know if the horse has had any experience with being out of a round pen or out of a yard. Um, it's better if you can get out and see exactly what the horse is used to. Some horses freak out on a plastic bag on the road, um, lines on the road, so many different things that, that one minute everything's fine and the next minute the horse is um, in a panic. So the more experiences you can see that this horse is used to, um, the better. So. You want to watch them do everything that, that you're going to want to do. So you see she's ready to go. She doesn't want to sit. So you know you need to be prepared for that. And you'll probably want to do some work with the horse on standing still when you get on. So you'll want to have them walk the horse around the pen. Then you want to see them trot. If you can get out of the round pen and get onto a trail ride where more things happen, such as uh, even a squirrel scurrying across uh, the path or scurrying back in the woods, um, you'll get a lot more um, insight into how the horse is going to react to things. Better to know all you need to know before you buy that horse. It's, if you could spend a good part of the day riding that horse and get the feel of the horse and how it reacts to different situations, the more situations you can get the horse into, the better. Even if they have hills or anything, you know, different things, if they have a water that you can cross, that'd be really great. You can find out if you can get your horse across water. A lot of horses freak out on water. Um, 
a lot of horses will try to run down hills. So, you know, it's just better to have more experience um, by spending quite a bit of time with the horse. It could save you a lot of problems later on down the line. I hope you, that you like the videos and um, please subscribe. Thank you.